What's up guys, I'm Brian Sakawa. You're watching He Spoke Style, and today we're talking about three simple rules for mixing patterns. Okay, so patterns are one of those things about menswear that really make it so much fun, and also one of those things that has the ability to add a lot to an outfit. However, wearing patterns can be a little tricky, especially if you are trying to mix different kinds of patterns. It takes a little bit of thought and planning, but if you use these three rules, you will be mixing patterns like a pro. Okay, the first rule for mixing patterns is you do not talk about mixing patterns. No, the first rule for mixing patterns is to choose two different types of patterns. Now, in terms of patterns in menswear, they basically come in three different flavors. You have stripes, you have dots, and you have checks. Now, there is obviously a wide spectrum within those families, but the best thing to do is to choose two, a stripe and a dot, a check and a stripe, a dot and a check. Now, can you mix patterns within the same family? Yes, but that is a topic we'll cover in another video. Next rule is to vary the size of the pattern. Now, the name of the game when it comes to pattern mixing is to make things complementary, and pattern size is how you do that. Make sure that the scales of the patterns are different. Now, this is something you can exaggerate like this, or that you can do with a little more subtlety, which is what I typically prefer. Third rule is to make sure that you have one pattern that is bolder and one pattern that is more subtle. If you had two bold patterns, for example, they're gonna be competing with each other, and that's going to create a very big clash. As you can see, the jacket I'm wearing has a check pattern, but it's on the more subtle side. Now, the tie, on the other hand, has a very big and bold stripe. That's going to draw your eye to the tie and make it the focal point of the whole outfit. Okay, just to sum up quickly, the three rules for pattern mixing are as follows. Choose two different types of patterns, vary the size, and have one pattern bolder while the other one is more subtle. Now remember that these rules, like all rules of style, are just guidelines. Just because something meets this criteria doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work in practice. As always, you want to use these rules as a starting point, but you should always go by feel and instinct as well. The only hard and fast rule of style, in my opinion, is that if it looks right, it is right, and if it doesn't look right or doesn't feel right to you, it's not right. Leave your comments below, thumbs up if this video was helpful, hit that subscribe button for more tips, advice, and outfit inspiration, and until next time, thanks for watching, and stay tailored.